What a regular season it was for Wapakoneta. The Redskins completed their second straight 10-0 campaign and picked up their 27th straight league win, claiming back-to-back -back WBL titles for the first time in school history. Those accomplishments helped propel Wapak back to the postseason for the third straight year, earning them the top seed in Region 10 and fulfilling goals set many months ago. This group uh, started the offseason and worked extremely hard. Uh, to put themselves in a position to compete for a championship, uh, an extremely unselfish group, a uh, group that showed great resiliency throughout the course of this season. We've had a lot of people step up with seniors and other people getting injured, and it's just, it's really amazing how close we've came together as a team and just how far we've come. I just feel we're very confident in what we know, what we need to do, and what we do to accomplish that. On Friday, Wapak hosts Belmont, and the Redskin defense is preparing for a new look, run focused Bison offense. It's double tight, double wing. Uh, you know, they they have a system, and you know they're going to put us in, in position where at times it's going to look like a rugby scrum, and uh, you know we're going to have to be extremely disciplined. It's very unique. I I've never seen anything like it before, but <clears throat> you know we're going to prepare ourselves. We're going to watch film. They're going to attack us to the best of their ability. They, they're very athletic, and you can tell they, they know what they're doing, so we're going to just give them our best shot. Experience is on the Redskins' side, with the seniors drawing on last year's run to the regional finals. And it didn't always come easy this year. Wapak was tested just last week in a close victory over Van Wert. They gave us our toughest challenge, score-wise, and uh, we respect them for that. We learned from that game that we need to be prepared every game of the season, no matter what. A lot of kids last year have got a lot of time, so we know that it's not always going to go our way in the playoffs, especially with the great teams that we play. So we just got to be resilient, and we're going to face adversity, and it's just how we handle it. Also playing in Wapak's favor, they get to play this Week 11 game on their home turf. It's a special feeling. Um, just uh, Actually, the last two years we've had a home playoff game, and I was lucky enough, and some of these guys were too, to be able to I experienced that feeling when the crowd's just yelling on like a third or fourth down, and it's it's amazing. We need Harmon Field to be electric on Friday night, and uh, we're very fortunate to have great support from our community, a community that rallies around this football team. And uh, you know, those guys have mentioned about the importance that they have in terms of the part they play. In Wapakoneta, I'm Matt Finkel for the Sports Report.